Hey, 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 Pam Drake here, a.k.a. Pamtastic. I just wanted to shoot a quick video on shiny object syndrome and what it means, what I interpret it to be. Um, first of all, people join companies for various reasons. Everybody's reason is unique to them. And people leave companies for, again, unique reasons. Um, I just wanted to encourage you as leaders in the network marketing industry to, if you have friends in your social media platforms that you notice are promoting company A and then a couple of months later they're in company B and they have nothing to do with company A anymore and on and on and on, um, that could be their SOS out to the universe that they need help. Um, People that go from company to company aren't necessarily just company hoppers, although those kinds of people do exist in the in the industry, absolutely, absolutely. But like I said, people join a company for an individual reason, and something may happen, the product may not work for them, therefore they can't promote it, because um, not every company is a good fit for every person, and not every product will work for every person. It just it, it just doesn't happen. Um, but anyhow, these company hoppers, as they've been labeled and that kind of stuff, and shiny object syndrome people, I look at it as an SOS, unless they give me another reason to believe differently. But to me, it's people that are, they're searching for... They have a dream. They want to earn X, Y, Z money. They want to have time freedom. Um, some people want fast cash in 45 seconds or less. Um, that kind of stuff, which I don't think that is in existence. But anyhow, um, I want you as leaders to reach out to your friends that appear to have shiny object syndrome, as it's being called in the industry, they could be asking for help. It could be as simple as their sponsor went MIA or they entered the witness protection program and they're left floundering, going by the seat of their pants. Honey, that's happened to me. I can't tell you how many times. Um, luckily, I'm currently in a company where the leadership is phenomenal and the trainings are out there and the open heartedness and the truth and the honesty and the integrity and the ethics. All of those things are in place. For me, but that's what makes this a great fit for me. Um, and I don't care what company you're promoting. I do care that you help people, and if you see somebody floundering and struggling and SOSing, um, you reach out to them and you help them, guide them, be truthful with them. Don't hype stuff up that you're going to make. 18 gazillion dollars in four seconds by pushing this button. Um, you know, because people, there, there are people out there that they just don't know any different or any better. And it's up to us as leaders within this industry to set the record straight and to let people know that there actually are people out there in this big bad industry that actually care and actually want to help people and see people succeed. I look at it this way. The entire internet marketing, network marketing industry is a huge piece of pie. I don't care. Whatever your favorite kind of pie is, I don't care. I call it success pie. And everybody is entitled to some of that pie. So stop hoarding your, your industry guru secrets and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and you know, help these people. They do get deterred. They do get distracted by the shiny objects out there and ooh, a cat and ooh, a chicken and whatever, um, simply because what they're doing right now is not working for them for whatever reason. So reach out to them, help them. Shiny object syndrome to me is an SOS saying, help me. Please help me. So that's what my challenge is to all of you leaders out in the industry right now that are watching this video. Go help people. Um, I wish you happy, happy.
Have a fabulous day, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.